Taurus. I am doing energetic update readings. Um, I will be loading relationship readings uh, towards the end of this week. So check those out. A lot of them have been really detailed. Um, some of them I've actually had to take into extended. They've been so detailed. So just an FYI. Wow, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, Taurus. In the present to the past position, I feel like you guys, um, there's been some confusion. Something's knocked you off base here. You could have been going through an illness of some sort. Um, you could be, I'm actually seeing somebody maybe traveling that has, is going to places they haven't been for a really long time. And I feel like it's disorienting. I feel like maybe you have changed a lot since you've been there and it can be a little bit disorienting. For others of you, I think that you're getting some memories or flashbacks or things that are coming up that are, are leaving you feeling disoriented, out of sorts, out of power, not being clear, not being able to understand the messages that are coming in for you. You know, the best thing you can do when that happens is take a breath, right? Get really back into alignment and just kind of wait. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we aren't meant to have all the answers, okay? And that's where we learn about faith, all right? Um, I do see also, I wanted to put this out because I'm seeing in this, position of not like you don't see this this is hidden okay or it's not obvious to you you might see it peripherally but you're not really paying any attention to it I do see that there's an offering here for you okay and the reason I wanted to pull this other card and these other cards here is because I want to kind of see a little bit more about what's happening I feel like somebody, whether it's a friend, whether it's um, something that you're watching, whether it's, you know, this reading is going to help you to find the clarity that you're seeking here. Okay. I feel like, you know, you're looking back on the past. You might miss someone. All right. Or miss an energy or, you know, you might be looking back on the past and thinking, wow, like I'm hearing somebody say like, oh, wow, those were the days, you know, I'm never going to feel that way again. And spirit wants you to understand that you can feel that way and even better now because you've processed a lot of things for Taurus. Most of what's been happening in the last year or so has been about coming into your heart space, you know, managing that emotion, holding space for your own heart has been like your journey here, okay? And it's been really uncomfortable for you sometimes, all right? I do see that there has been some kind of a commitment here. Some of you might be in the process of actually planning to get married here or planning this commitment. And that's why maybe you're looking back in the past, like, am I sure I want to do this? Again, I feel like there's somebody coming in or an energy coming in that is going to give you the clarity that you want. And it's going to promote change here for you. Okay. Let's ask about this High Priestess in reverse, please. Wow. I have the Temperance card coming out and I have the Ten of Swords. So again, I feel like you guys have gone through something major here. Okay. Ten of Swords is the end of the clarity cycle here. This is where, um, and in reverse, it's the end of the cycle, right? This is where all of those lessons are like <laughs> plunged into the soul. These are not things you're going to forget. And I feel like you're over the pain of this. Okay. I could be talking to an earth angel here that really understands exactly what I'm talking about. There could have been some things in your past that were, you know, you saw as a major betrayal. You might have lost some things, things like that. But this, the pain of it is done. The pain of it is done now. 
so why are we still out of our intuition? Okay, yeah, you've been kind of going back and forth here with some things. You've been trying to figure things out. You've been kind of like getting out of your power, letting things overwhelm you is what I'm getting. And what you really need to do is step back into your joy. You could have um, a Leo around you that is helping you do this. I see a young child right now that is like running around, cutting jokes. Um, this is like outside and I see them just bringing light into your life. And if you don't have that in your surroundings, then that's kind of the energy that you need to bring in. Like not taking things so seriously, understanding that there are phases to everything, right? There's a beginning, there's a middle, there's ups, there's downs, there's an ending, right? Just kind of going with the flow here. Lighten the heart is what I'm hearing. Let's ask about this Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, I've got the Judgment card coming out here. There's a potential here for some really, really big moves. Okay, whole new starts. Brand new starts. What else can you tell us, please, about this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, I feel like this whole situation is going to help you get your mojo back. You could have somebody coming in to help you that could be represented by this divine feminine, which could lead if we're talking about relationships, which we're not in this reading, but there's the potential there for that. But I feel like this is going, you know, this is going to help you to get your mojo back, right? This is going to make you really, really happy. And how do we get there? We start to move forward. We're, we be, we're open to listening to things around us, to ideas around us, right? We're seeing things with joy. This is going to bring you happiness here. Let's ask about this Knight of Wands, please. Yeah, here it is, okay? Knight of Wands is you moving forward while still looking in the past. You're still grieving something, but you're going to step into your power here. Notice both of them are still looking back in the past here. There could have been a lot of drama over something that happened around you or some decision that you made or just drama in people around you. And it could have just been like, I'm feeling like it almost made you lose faith. I see somebody out there was trying to do something nice for somebody or a group of people and they like turned into like this whole drama thing and you're just like wow why am i even doing this and this could have been the start of you understanding that you needed to put your heart first your heart first okay i'm also seeing here around this two of cups is are you going to do things the same way okay that's the bait. Are you going to are you going to keep repeating these cycles or are you going to change it up? Now, I see you have already changed it up, but they want to remind you of this that if you keep doing things the same way, you know, what did Einstein the there's a quote that everybody says Einstein said that, you know, doing things in the same way and looking for a different result is crazy, right? Or that's the definition of insanity or something. Okay, so this is about you understanding that it was you that had to change. It was you that had to change. You had to extricate yourself from that drama um, and see things as a new beginning. And maybe that's the difference too. Like I'm hearing this is not the same old, same old. Okay, and that's the beauty of it because I feel like for some of you, you are actually getting bored. Like you were literally getting bored here. Let's ask about this Queen of Pentacles, please. I feel for some of you that there was a lot of growth going on here. I feel like it was internal growth, spiritual growth, and this brought you into this Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is representing your energy, which is about spiritual health and wealth and financial. I do see that maybe you have started a new project or a new way to make money that actually aligns with what's going to make you happy. Like something maybe you actually like to do or you want to support rather than just I've got to do this for money. Yeah, I feel like you guys witnessed some really sneaky stuff and it... it um, 
it helped you to get to a point where you wanted to make this change. Here you go, Taurus. I always see you guys when I pull this card because I feel like you guys are always helping others and you're coming from a place of service. And I think it was hard fought and hard won. I think there's a lot of different reasons for why that is happening. But again, we talked about you can't give from an empty cup. You can still be philanthropic and put your heart first. Okay, I have also got the lovers coming in and I've got this four of swords again, which brings us back to the present here. Um, I do feel like there's an opportunity here for you and possibly one or two people. And maybe that's a little bit about what's happening. You're not quite sure yet what belongs where is what I'm hearing. Again, I am going to do relationship readings. Um, you know, at the end of this week, they'll be uploaded. I feel like there was a big betrayal here at some point. And this is, this is what I'm hearing. Like it caused you pause. Like you had to kind of really sit back and be discerning here. And I feel like this is the three mind, body, spirit that you were able to incorporate that. And I say that because right underneath it was the three of pentacles, mind, body, spirit, victory. So if you don't have the clarity that you're seeking right now, whether it's about a relationship or moving forward or whatever that is, you're promised this clarity here. It will come to you. Let me get you a karma card, Taurus. Um, again, if you look at the description box, <clears throat> excuse me. If you look at the description box, um, the intro to astrology book is going to give you everything you need to understand your natal chart. It even has free printables on there. Um, I also have hand drawn the designs like the cover, etc. Okay, and then digitize them. So enjoy those as well. I think I they're like 350 DPI. You can even print them if you want. I mean, like poster size. Okay. We've got the need for control of an obsession with a power struggle. And we've got Pluto. <laughs> I just did readings for signs going through Pluto. You might want to check that out, how Pluto is affecting your sign. Okay. And this is more, you know, they're energetically, everybody's sign is affected by Pluto. It's very disruptive. It brings things to the surface that need to be dealt with. It changes things around, right? It pushes out the old and brings in the new, which is exactly what we're talking about here. That need for control of an obsession with a power struggle. This has to do with you understanding that you can't control everything and everybody. And you're finally realizing that you don't want to put your heart space first. <laughs> I feel like I should put that on a record and send it to you, Taurus. Okay, I've got inspire others with be prepared to sacrifice for yielding is the only way. And this is coming in in Neptune. It would be interesting to see where you have Pluto and Neptune in your chart, which is why I bring this out. There's 12, bring it up. There's 12 houses and each house uh, covers, you know, each one of the facets of our lives, like career, relationships, all the stuff. That's why I talk about that intro to astrology book. Okay. That's really interesting. I feel like I'm going to say to you something that I've said a number of times throughout this last year, which is you are modeling the behavior that you want to see in others, whether you realize it or not. So when you start new, we've got burden. We've got stripping away the illusions. And we've got integration. When you make these big changes... People are watching what you're doing and how you're doing it. Okay? You're helping others to grow. Which is kind of what you've been trying to do for a long time anyway. Although I think for a lot of you, okay, you were actually, and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here, but I think there was like some codependency there where you were like doing stuff for people and let of, instead of providing opportunity for them to learn, I think you've leveled up and learned that. Yeah, I've got loyal heart and I've got milk and honey. 
And I really believe, yep, tribe, I really believe that you have figured out a lot. Truth be told. And exchanging gifts. I feel like you've opened your heart and you're open to that equitable exchange. You know, when you give to somebody all of the time, it kind of devalues if you're not accepting something back. Okay? And it's it's got to be like a healthy exchange. Right? It's got to be a healthy exchange. And I think that, I think you're understanding that now. Okay? I do see with this loyal heart, milk and honey, truth. I, with all of the cards coming out, I do see the possibility of this relationship. Like going the distance, like soulmate, whatever you want to call it. I see you um, being in the, in the place where you are ready for like the adult relationship, the, the caring, compassionate, valued relationship on both sides here. Okay? Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you, Taurus. Please remember, again, to like, share, and subscribe, comment. Um, you can claim so many things from this reading here. Okay? So many things. I have patience with myself, which leads me into balanced abundance. Okay? That's going to also lead you into the intuition. What's the saying? Rome wasn't built in a day. Right? Be gentle with yourself. You have a lot of feminine energy coming up here, which is the reminder to be gentle with yourself. The better you care for yourself, the more confidence, the more authentic confidence you're going to have too. I believe some of you might be called to tell your story and that learning all of this is putting you in a position to tell it in a way to reach a lot of people. I'm hearing legend. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.